previously on my pay to career. Now that the pay to 2 has finally got the taste of the PS4 and the Xbox One, now I wonder if Overkill is gonna at least try and be more supportive for consoles this time. Well, sadly, at this is no exception. Just like its last gen counterpart, they don't really keep the updates, you know, neck to neck with the PCs. We were close to it, but yet so far, yet again. But of course, all that time I've been usually hosting, well, pubs because, well, I do have a long load time and most of the time I do try and join other people, I mostly get kicked out because I load way too long. Which I don't blame them. Either they just don't have the time in the world or they just don't have patience like everyone else. But, but all that playing pubs is mostly long gone and I got a huge big wind of change. Especially when I met a few individuals that actually changed the course not only in my pay to career but also to my life itself. And this all happened around August 2018. So, any, so without further ado, as your gracious host, Yin Yang Dragon, I am welcome to you all to my Payday 2 career. Where I'm at now, I'm standing in front of the Golden Grin Casino, and of course, in Las Vegas. One of few instances that you don't take place in Washington. Now, why Golden Grin itself? Well, I probably already talked about this story, how I met my friends before with a certain build. But it's not really wrong, but there's nothing bad about repeating it again and telling, retelling the stories for more to more audiences. So, the Golden Grand Casino, this is where I met one of my friends. And probably one of the more close, important friends I have um, in, in my life. And of course, the well, purpose of this is... Well, I did got a little bit of help uh, um, by her that this is the highest that we met. Now, of course, my memory did not really, um, did not serve me quite well, so I thought it would be some type of random, you know, some random pub or like random overkill, but no, this is at the time where usually when I play stealth during a pub, I make sure it's just me playing, um, secure the whole area, and once I know it's all clear, I set the game to pub, and anyone who joins is a free game. So for me trying to do a little more up the ante is by playing the Golden Grand Casino, do all the objectives until I have to move the bags. And by moving the bags, it's a moving bag simulator. So just like Bank Heist, I set up the uh, switch from private to public and hoping everyone joins and I really hope pray to them they don't try to screw me over in terms of like walking out here in this gambling hall. Only one person joined. But that person was all the friend I need. And that was and her name goes by Blood Amos. And of course at the time I did not know she was a female. Because how often do you counter female playing games? Especially in a game like Payday 2. I mean, kind of shock of shocks, really. And then after we complete Golden Grin, I think I just went ahead and switched to Loud Highs or kind of back out. But then followed by the next day, I think it's the next day, that's when I host a Overkill game on, well, on Overkill difficulty because I just like to have fun, just like pub as usual. 
blood AMS joins again and just like my previous counters with a few people that I've been acquainted with I do recognize their names and of course uh, blood AMS is uh, no exception I recognize her by heart and after a few games uh, well she was already a level 25 100 so it's nice to have another max player but who's very well very good at the game very knowledge about it and after the green bridge she sent me a friend request and just like every other um, other people that send me a friend request for, on payday 2 I gladly accept the invite or ex accept the, week, the request and then of course after a couple days later uh, then I notice uh, blood is starting to play a bit of well one down difficulty and as as I'm already have completed every high some one down and so very experienced with it and figure it would be a good time to sharpen my skill once again and hoping I'm not too rusty on the highest difficulty that's when I join join on her and the host name was uh, Bukon and I don't know if she was going to be very happy that I kind of joined mid game or want to just be in company with just one person because I usually do this with Dylan usually it's just the two of us playing and I don't want anyone else being interrupted or join our game especially in stealth or a few online stuff because sometimes playing with randoms does get very uh, can go either uh, 180 and I notice the uh, the host keeps kicking certain people either that they always get down by one time and they kicked or others or by other reasons but luckily he didn't kick me out now I probably have a two two wild guess here the first one was either that well um, either that blood is already in a party with him and tell him and probably told him that I'm a friend of hers or he probably just wants to uh, see or the second reason would be he saw how high my level is and probably want to see how well I handled one down and since I handled one down uh, he uh, he didn't try to kick me out so I was a little bit suspicious because after all I'm always I'm always at my guard up when the host wants to kick me after all I always pay attention to what the host does as a client for as a random client and then everything was still went everything went smoothly nothing no hiccups or anything like that and then I follow a couple of few heists later And that's when I met another very special, important friend, and probably the one, and the fire starter, to start, pretty much start my YouTube channel. I think it was a couple games later on, uh, when I was playing with, uh, um, with Blood along with Bocon, um, and we were playing Panic Room. And of course, this was the building that I met another friend that became very important to me, and that is goes by the name of Tom Wood ninety one, and he's another FME twenty five one hundred. So we're almost basically a, a, a full squad of. 25 100 players and in terms of how well we perform well let's just say we basically dominated the panic room itself it actually feels very relief to actually got me excited to at least find other players that are are they have the saxon skills like me after all, it's a very rare jewel to find. 
fine, and definitely a rare jewel that I want to keep. Just like any any other dragons love to keep their treasures, I definitely want to keep this one. Now, throughout the year of 2018 through 2019, so from August 2018 to August 2019, that's when I'm only acquainted with Tom. I was never really on his friends list. That's, and the reason for it was because I was very shy. Normally I got, I'm pretty much get used to, I'm pretty much, I'm of course always, I always get used to get friend requests by a lot of people, which I'm usually okay with, and I'm, and I'm very comfortable with. But when I when I but when it comes to the receiving end, where I I send a frame request to other people, thing I'm quite a bit shy about. Like I don't want them to think I'm a completely total stranger. Just by seeing me for like a couple hours or just days, or like oh we just met, do it now you want me to send me a friend request? That's usually how the user expression is. But then after a few while, I noticed he started to do a couple streams. And most of the time also playing with uh with blood. Now I usually I go by by my angst thing here and I figured that these two probably want to play just their time together. So I didn't want to bother to, you know, tell them anything like, hey, can I join or just join in immediately? Because I have a similar scenario with my buddy Dylan. Sometimes uh, we usually like to play with just the two of us because trying to play with random sometimes it's a 180 hit or miss. So for me, I rather to keep my distance and I don't want to, you know, bar or interrupt them what they're doing. And then followed by And then I think uh, a couple days later, that's when I noticed Tom doing his stream. Yeah, he actually streams Payday 2 on PS4. And I had to give him mad respects for streaming a game that's on a inferior version compared to the PC, where the PC has all the updates, where he plays on the PS4. I'm actually quite surprised he didn't make the jump to the PC. You know, early a little bit early on. So it actually felt great that I was playing with like another player with the same skill level, such as myself. And there are a few instances where I do join this game, and there were like two other randoms. Though the other two randoms are not really skillful, and usually go down a lot compared to either with me or Tom. And we basically essentially carry two, both of the randoms together. So it really felt great to play with another very skillful player. Because I have never really run into that scenario at all throughout my pub's experience. Not even once. And then after a couple... few games, and then a couple months later on, that's that's when I started to see Tom doing a bit of stream. I don't know how I got contacted by showing his stream for the first time, either by recommend on his channel or I'm just probably looking up the name like Tom Wood Payday Two something, and then I see the name Uton. I was like Uton, and then I'll just click and notice. During his stream, oh, that's his name. Okay, I was a little bit surprised that he had a different username besides his PSN ID, but I'm not here to judge on that. So after a couple months later, I think around February, that's when I messaged him saying, "I hope I'm not barring you with me enjoying your game." Because I'm pretty sure he probably recognized my name by now. 
even though I'm not really well his friend just yet and then he replied to me not at all as long as you know what you're doing on Death Sentence 1 Down you're good good man so I felt a little bit relieved because uh, I don't want to be, be a complete stranger to him and then I think about around August 2019 that's when I finally started to send him a friend request and then he accepted and then we do our usual thing we of course do a couple heists do DSOD either we play with randoms or with other friends on his friends list and it was pretty much GG from there then afterwards I'm starting to interact a lot more with other people that watching his stream including the two the two um, the two blue mods he has with him of course being Merlia and Angelus and of course of course, I think a couple of times I do see uh, Blood being a blue too as well. And of course, that doesn't really bother me at all. That saying I'm not in it because that's perfectly fine with me because I don't expect it to be. And if I even find myself, oh, that's nice. He has actual friends I actually trust the most. And I was like, and of course, I probably think to myself, well, you've probably had enough friends, enough uh, mods. Um, with him, and if I will never get close to these guys at all, boy, I was wrong. A thing when I started to play around with it, um, play with the other people, I think uh, out between the others, I think Merlias was one of the few people I played first before I played with, uh, you know, Angelus, and then th there was like Panda, Spider, Ludi. But, yeah, before I could talk about uh, how I, well, talk with Merlia, um, it's when, when I start doing my own YouTube channel. And of course, of course, Dylan was the one that was the person that want me to do my own YouTube stuff. You know, why don't you do YouTube since you're so good at the game and you can tell us about do all that stuff I would it, I mean I could have I just didn't have it properly set up and then seeing well seeing Tom doing all the uh, doing YouTube stuff or doing mostly content for pay two, either doing stealth the 75 risk no HUD showing off different builds and playing with different weapons with certain builds at least he's not rocking like the meta, so I'm kind of grateful for it. The same time, someone actually plays a little more differently, and has a variety with guns. But yeah, Tom was was the fire starter for me to set up my YouTube channel. Even though he didn't, he's not the one who directly told me to do one. But after all, he is the one who inspired it. Now, once I start doing my own, my own, uh, my own stream, my own videos and that, um, there was one person that showed up and I actually commented during the chat was Merlia. I have no idea when it was a time uh, when she hopped on to well my stream but I was doing some stealth a, you know a little small stealth stream showed up we talked a little bit a few stuff here and there and then she's the one who told me Hey, why don't you want to be in a party with me and Tom? And uh, I'll say yeah. And of course, uh, it wasn't a party. One thing I did not realize, my mic wasn't working. 
Yeah, I even have the mic plugged in, and for some reason, there's no sound coming off of my mic. So anything I talk, they didn't hear it. So all that talk I did was for nothing. And first expressions are always important, and sadly, it didn't leave a very good one at all. And then I think it was either Tom or Malia told me, why didn't you talk? We were in a party. And I say, well, well I did. It must, it must have been my mic, so I set up my mic to test it out to see if there's any talking in it. Nothing. Then I try to blow a few, maybe dust out. It actually worked. So followed by a couple of games later, I think a couple, I think the following couple days later, that's when, of course, I was also playing with Angelus as well. And then there was also, I think, either Malia or Blood. And then we have, well, um, like Tom Hat Cat or Tom Cat, I don't know. Well, it goes by the name of Blaze. And that's when my mic finally started to work. And it felt relief because I thought I was never going to get a chance to interact with them again. But I'm glad it didn't. And then, uh,. Well, finally, few afterwards, I didn't. I've been interact with a few other players. With, uh, of course, play with other people with like Ludi, with uh, Spider, Panda, or Wolf, and many few others. And. and and as for other people who are that I feel very close to, well, I feel like the four people who are very close to me as friends, not just internet friends, but very close people that I really, really wish I could meet them in person. Of course, the four people are is Blood, Tom, Merlia, and Angelus. And I was very surprised what origins they were, what country they're from. As each of them are very, each of them have their own different accent, and they all speak English pretty well. And you know what? I think their English is. We're. We're very understandable to read. I have no trouble hearing them at all. And I'm actually quite surprised to know that I, they can actually speak English as their second language. Of course, being their first one being their actual official language. Just before I met any of them. So I thought it would be kind of very awkward for me to try and to speak with people with their own native language. Like Dutch, Italian, Portuguese. But I'm very... I'm very quite surprised they... I actually knew it. I still think it's a it's an amazing talent that they can able to speak English. You know, may not be very fluent, but but they're definitely the best ones, um, best English um, speaking I know. I mean, there are other times that people do speak English. I just have a hard time. But these people, but these people, are are amazing. Though I do have to personally thank almost each one of them to change the way I am. First, I do want to thank Blood for at least meeting her for the first time, it was also her was the reason I met with the others. I met Tom and then with the others and being friends with her. And and I can consider her as my second closest friend on the internet. Of course first being Grim Joe Smith, but that was like years ago I met with him.
and then followed by Tom. Of course, if it wasn't for Tom for doing all YouTube stuff, I probably would never done it as well. And I'm still doing YouTube stuff still today. And of course, anytime I try to do certain builds or certain playstyle, I always gotta be think up Tom, as he's the one who helped me start it up, doing a few stuff during my YouTube career. Merlia was the one that helped me to help to break a bit out of my shell and break out of my former self. Which usually I'm not the one that usually interact much with social, especially with the whole text. You know, send me. Usually I don't reply to them. They usually think I'm ignored them, which usually I do. Sometimes I don't. But now I try to be a little more responsive. It was also thanks to her. I was also one of the few people that told me about WhatsApp. Yeah. I think a couple years later ago, I have no idea what WhatsApp is until she and Angelus told me about it. So I would never actually be, I thought I would never be in this sort of group if it wasn't for Malia. And for that, I say thank you. Thank you for that, Malia. I really appreciate it. As for Angelus, he's probably one of the most chill, chill people that I ever played with, or even to talk with, and even to be with. Even when people talk stuff like trash about, like one time with the in Among Us, he always seemed to have like like a such a chilled attitude, and I really wish I had that same chilled attitude as him. And I'm very grateful for him to at least help me to at least to mod a few certain of my games. And I also do have to thank him for at least helping me a little bit during Crime Spree on the PC. As it's really quite annoying to start all over again and you can't even transfer your data files from PS4 to PC and vice versa. So anytime I play with Angelus. It's always very chill and very relaxing and always very funny to hear him doing other jokes and that. Which is very hilarious and and not of course probably the most chairs of them all. His laugh makes me laugh. And I'm not making fun of his laugh. I think it's yeah, I think it's great. It cracks me up. It cracks me a smile. And if there's anyone who say that can, that that say health is the best medicine f in a person's body, well, Angelus is that medicine. So, so those four key people, I even made copycat builds out of, made some two separate builds with their native weapons or. Or also weapons that are quite close to use and as well made a build out of the payday 2 crew we may not be together as a five but I still consider each and one of them as family and I treat and I will try to treat all of them equally I think them as my brothers and sisters and I think they feel the same way. Now throughout the 2020 and 2019, everything was basically kind of back to normal. Still have good friends, still play a bit of pay 2 from time to time. But what is left for me in the for the present and the future of Payday 2? Well, that story is for another day.